original timeline, on September 11, 2001, when the Pentagon was hit, there were zero casualties. Nobody died at the Pentagon that day, because the section of the building that was hit was being remodeled, so it was empty. But on this timeline, 125 people died. This is a Mandela effect. At the Pentagon on 9-11, that part of the building was under renovation and was empty, so nobody died. However, on this world line, 125 people died. History has changed for me. This is not my original timeline. I have shifted to an alternate timeline due to a quantum effect called the Mandela effect. The following clip is from the documentary, In Plain Sight. In the video, the host mentions that the part of the Pentagon hit on 9-11 was under renovation. That supports my memories that due to renovation, that part of the building was empty and no one died. See wire spools that were left on the front lawn of the Pentagon, after all this section of the Pentagon was under renovation. I'm not the only one who remembers zero casualties at the Pentagon on 9-11. This gentleman has the same memories as me. When he's about um, the Pentagon hit on 9-11, I clearly remember that was like something really fishy about no one no one was working on that area, so there was no casualties. Uh, that, that just sounds ridiculous, you know. Uh, uh, aside from, they never talked about it, I remember. Aside from the, the plane victims and the terrorists, which was like 50-something victims plus crew members. I don't know if they included the terrorists on that number. But they claimed no one was in the Pentagon on, on that time. I clearly remember that. Uh, now, now if you go uh, to a, a Wikipedia, no casualties. Uh, one, 125 at the Pentagon. So 125 official deaths in the Pentagon. As I do remember that. I, I checked with friends of mine. They said, yeah, I remember that there was like no victims. No one was working at the Pentagon. They were like remodeling the stuff somehow. And then I was like, one, uh, still 125 victims. That's a lot. Just like if they had blown up all the, uh, you know, all that side of the Pentagon. So when I first saw this, uh, it caught me by surprise. At this point, I've seen so many different Mandela effects. I'm rarely surprised anymore. But this one, for whatever reason, really got to me. I clearly remember. This one really got me. I clearly remember there was no casualties at the Pentagon itself. The reason being that the Pentagon was being remodeled on that side of the Pentagon and it was empty. And also that that side of the Pentagon where the strike took place was reinforced recently and because of that there was no casualties at the Pentagon. That's what I remember. No casualties at the Pentagon at all, other than, of course, the 64 on the flight itself. As I already mentioned, I have polled three different groups on Facebook, and I would say I got about a little bit over 100 replies, and about 85 to 90% of the replies that I got remember, just like me, that there was no casualties at the Pentagon. This one, this one hit me really hard. Do you want to know about the Mandela effect? Maybe it's happening to you, and you're having a hard time dealing with it. Does it make your head spin? Or does someone you know, say they are experiencing it, but you think they're crazy? Those of us affected are not misremembering or confabulating. The Mandela effect is a supernatural event that is happening around the globe. It's the biggest event in our lifetime, perhaps in the last 2000 years and no media outlet will touch it. There is a complete blackout reporting on this quantum phenomenon. Find out why on my website. I share several theories on what caused the Mandela effect with supportive evidence, including examples of residue. Most people experiencing the phenomenon only show examples of changes in movies, entertainment, and commercial products. I call that, the small stuff. But on my website, I address what I call, the big stuff. 
These are examples of major changes such as world and historical events. I also talk about people changing due to the quantum effect. And I share some incredible changes that happened to me in real time with photos. On my website, there are nine lengthy pages of research on the Mandela effect. There is a list of content at the top of each page. I share my analysis as well as images and videos on the quantum changes. Are you a Christian who sees changes in the scriptures, but when you try to share it, you are condemned or called evil? You are not alone. Look at parts 8 and 9 on my website to access pages on Bible changes. I give many examples with illustrations to show how sinister the changes are. On my website, click on the drop-down menu on the toolbar at the top of the page to access these subjects. Please visit my website at samstwitch.com. My Twitter profile is at samstwitch underscore sam. My YouTube channel is at youtube.com backslash samstwitch. I post videos that I cannot post on YouTube on my BitChute channel at bitshoot.com backslash samstwitch.